just adding a head, it didn't even touch three. It was 280, and it pulled uh, a lot. Almost 12,000 <laughs> RPM? I think over. I don't know. All we did was put the head on it. Put our Avenger head on it. So. Same horsepower. Same horsepower. Carried a lot, decent bit more RPM, and it yeah. didn't fall off. Yeah. At all. So much better curve. Wow. Huge Every, difference. Everything after eight thousand, that big drop that we had before, just adding ahead, carries the entire way. That is a healthy horsepower curve. That's what I want to see right there. Stock heads are junk. That's it. SP head number one. Off. This is this is a little more about what we expected. Just changing the head, proper squish. We got point eight on the squish. So wow. A bit more torque off the line. Yep. Let me bring up the. Uh, it just carried. Just carried. Yeah, hey, good. That's 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 healthy. That's good. Like so stock lot. head, it dropped off at 10,005. With our head on it, we're over 12,000. Just about 12 and a half. Bring up the graphs, show that real quick. And temperatures, big temperature difference. Yep. I could not keep heat in this head the whole time. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> This is what a good head does. Um, that's Phantom. Hold on. Three. Yep. So we started out at. Oh, this took. I made a really weird curve. I do not like that. Yeah, that's a temperature. Yeah, I wanted. Usually it shows the X scale or the Y scale as being oh. horsepower and a separate curve for this. This doesn't show the horsepower very well. Oh, no, I actually had to change that. Uh, I don't know. We'll do let me let me re bring that up. Do the head temp first. <laughs> so from a stock head, uh, started out 240. Same with this, and by about 10,000 RPM, we we're up at 280. Um, that's a weird. Weird temperature curve. That is really bad for tuning. Um, that change in temperature makes a really inconsistent tune. We put our head on it. We started at 240 and it stayed pretty much 240 up until 10,000 RPM and we gained 15, 15 degrees. <laughs> Ended up at 250. Yeah, that's, that's a huge variation there. That's a nice even even temperature rise, that's what we want to see. So we'll go back and compare the horsepower. Um, so. That's crazy. Pretty close up to, yeah, we're looking, bouncing back and forth. Still here. Maybe about here, yeah, that's about the same, and then at that point, just that just keeps pulling. Boom, a little over eight and a half. Stock head plummets, absolutely plummets to 10k. Just putting this head on carries the whole way at least to 11 and a half, and then <laughs> that's just at, one he let out, even at 12 and a half port. Yeah, I, I let out because I was kind of scared that was turning some RPMs for sure. But it was losing power here, so it would have stopped relatively soon. But even then, I'm carrying two over two horsepower all the way up to 12 and a half. 
we were at below two horsepower at 10k with the stock head. So huge change, and all we did take this junk piece of crap head off with a garbage squish band that's made for a 47 millimeter piston and put a real head on it. Calculated squish band, the proper angle, and the right diameter. Well, that right there is the difference. The head is worth it. The proof is right here. Like we said, this engine's got a lot more potential. Just, add, just adding a head changed the whole game. Add a pipe to it, that's next.